fire ants are among the world's 100 worst invasive species. Today we're speaking to Mak Fukada. He is an entomologist here at the State Department of Agriculture. He'll tell us how to identify them and what to do if you suspect an infestation. One of the features real common with them is they are all pretty much one uniform color. So what's most striking is the size. Little yes. fire ants are little. Little fire ants, a whole different genus. This is Wasmania. It's a Wasmania areopunctata. Not widespread on Maui versus these guys, the big red ants, which have been here forever. Little fire ants, what they will do is basically outcompete almost all your other ants. Usually when people talk about getting bitten by Solenopsis geminata, tropical fire ant, people talk about bitting, getting stung on the legs. Right. Versus Wasmania, what makes us look at a situation is people talk about being stung on the upper extremities, upper body, because it is an arboreal species, lives in the trees. Mm -hmm. And for some odd reason, it doesn't hang on to the, whatever it's living on very well. So the slightest breeze dislodges them and they rain down on people then get caught under the clothes. In extreme cases, what happens is they're so tiny that people get stung and they don't know what's stinging them. Pets can be blinded because in a lot of cases, pets can't get away from them. I would presume similar could happen to people. People are going to have to learn to do management on their own. Realistically, we might actually already be at that point where we're gonna to have to think about um, management mode versus control. Eradication, I really doubt that will happen on the Big Island at this point. That means we're gonna continuously get infested materials. And so it'll always be this game where we're chasing fires, chasing fires, chasing fires, because these fires don't, they seem to take a long time to really flare up to the point where people notice them. And then by then it's usually too late to do anything about. Number one, I'd be very cautious as to where you get plants from. Right now, I would say almost anything from the Big Island that's been sitting in someone's yard long enough potentially could be infested. Could be a car, could be patio furniture, could be any of that. The chapstick test with the peanut butter on their own on any plant material that they receive. Okay, so chopstick, tiniest smear of peanut butter, the ants will stick to that, throw it into a plastic bag, freeze it, and then mail it to yeah. the department. Yeah, and that's probably the first and best step. Vigilance is going to be the key to stopping this pass. Go to MauiNow.com for more information on what's being done to eradicate the little fire ant. I'm Malika Dudley for Maui Now. Everything Maui, always now.